what's going on guys out here at this lake waiting on some beaver to come out and uh, hopefully help this landowner uh, thin some more of these beaver out but figured I'd take a few minutes here before it gets a little bit closer to dark and uh, give you a rundown of my setup here uh, you'll notice today a lot of you guys that have followed the channel coyote hunting wise uh, know that I typically do a direct connect to an Arca Swiss plate uh, from my ball head but you'll notice tonight that I brought the bolt rig out. Uh, this is a 243 and a Magpul stock. Uh, this stock, uh, of course, you've seen on the channel that I painted this stock. But what I want to show you uh, today is this full Kaufjager uh, carbon fiber tripod. But not only that, but the Kaufjager Reaper grip. Uh, this is real nice for those of you that don't want to put um, Arca Swiss plates on the bottom of your rails, whether it be a bolt action gun or your gas guns, your AR-15s, AR-10s. Uh, you can always use um, a grip type system, which this one is called the Reaper Grip from Kopfjager. And just want to show you guys a few highlights on that, a few features on this. Um, the tripod's pretty straightforward, all carbon fiber. Three different clamps here uh, for variation in height and then you've got a center column here which is real nice because you don't have to have the legs exactly the correct height you can get it pretty close and then you can make adjustments by this center column to raise the rifle up and down uh, let's take a little bit closer look here at the actual uh, reaper grip so i'm going to spin this around here you're going to notice this handle right here this you actually tighten and loosen to make your adjustments to pan and tilt like this. Then once you're on target, you actually go counterclockwise to tighten it down and then it's sturdy. And this little knob right here, turn it, you hear it click right there and that locks it from rotating 360 degrees. And you can also adjust this tension knob here, tighten that all the way down you can notice there it's locked into place. I usually keep this a little bit snug that way I have full rotation uh, to get on my target as quick as possible. I'm going to show you how this grip works. So you'll notice here how thick or how wide the forearm is of these Magpul stocks. And the nice thing about the Reaper grip that's a little bit different from like the hog saddle or the pig saddle that I use is this actually cants. So if you have like a taper, which is fatter down here and then it tapers to a little bit slimmer profile up towards the muzzle, this will actually grab a hold of it and get you a lot more meat right there and a lot better security clamp down on your rifle rather than it just being straight like this, it'll clamp in there like that to adjust to the taper of your forearm, which is really nice. So all you do, set this in there. And it's secure. You got full rotation just like that. So just want to show you that real quick. Um, for me, uh, coyote hunting, I do run a uh, gas gun, AR-15, 6.5 Grendel, and I do the direct clamp to uh, my Arca Swiss plate. And I would pick that every time over this, but this is super handy for you guys that don't want to put uh, Arca Swiss plates. Uh, I don't want to put an Arca Swiss plate on this because I know I'll just use this Reaper grip or a hog saddle, whatever it might be. But this Reaper grip is pretty handy, pretty nice. But this is a very versatile setup right here. Uh, maybe you have a rail, a handguard on your AR, on your gas gun, and it's more like a tubular uh, type forearm handguard, and there's just no way to mount an Arca Swiss plate. This right here would be perfect for that. Maybe you guys got five or six different bolt guns, five or six different ARs. You don't want to put Arca Swiss on every single one of those. So right here is your fix. Really versatile, works for every gun that you own. 
and uh, make sure and comment down below if you guys have any questions. I'm going to link all this stuff down below so you guys can take a look at it there too, down in the description of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure and comment down below. Appreciate you guys being along for the ride. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.